All right, guys, so I just wanted to share with you my experience of picking up some fresh seafood and where I get it. Of course, I get it from Gulf Runner Seafood. And let me just show you this, guys. I mean, it was an hour drive for me. I live way out, but they got a lot of convenient locations where you can pick up. They keep this stuff fresh. I mean, it's the best. I'm trying to tell you that. I know that rhymes. It's fresh. It's the best. So you guys got to check them out. Go for the seafood. Link is in the description. Uh, let me just show you this. Look at those pretty blue crab. I mean, this is going to be wonderful, guys. Got some boil seasoning right here. We got the oysters right there. Some soft shells at the bottom. I mean, this is gonna be wonderful, guys. Real good stuff right here. Got all the crab. I mean, it's time to head back and we, it's time to get this ball going, guys. Gotta pick up a few things from the store, but hey, meet me back at the house. What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpaste. It's gonna to be a fun one today. And this video is sponsored by Gulf Runner Seafood. You know why it's sponsored by Gulf Runner Seafood? Because they gave you some delicious treats. Come over here, let's show you what you got. So, we got this blue crab right here, straight from the Gulf. They picked this up yesterday. Nice blue crabs, and he's ready. You see him? You see him, he's ready. He's ready to go in that pot. I know that. Step over here. And this is the star of the show today. Golf Blue Crabs. We got some number twos in there, some number ones, a little mixed bag in there. Nice size right there. Those are going to be going in the boil, just like we do crawfish. So if you checked out my, my crawfish videos before, there going to be a link to the description to that video and in the video at the end to check that out, how to do a crawfish boil. But we're going to do those the same way. Here in Texas, we like our stuff a little Cajun spicy, just like they like in Louisiana. And then also, another treat, we got some big selects right here. Look at these boys right here. Look at some of these claws. And they are ready to go in that pot. Now, check this out. We're going to be doing blue crab two different ways today. Like I said, we're going to have them in the boil. And on the other end, check out what I got going over here. Got to keep the barbecue flavors going. We're going to do some smoked blue crab in a pan with some lemon, some butter, and seasoning. I'm going to show you how to do that. Turn this heat down right there because we only want to get that to about 250 right there. So it's up right up a little above 250, so I'm going to get that heat down. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let me show you how to do one of these. And now, if you're a squirmish or anything, you know, fast forward in this video, but I'm going to show you how to clean one, and then the rest, you know, we'll speed up for the sake of time as far as you know killing these things so just grab them from the back and now I had these on ice okay and they were a little dormant but he's a little awoke now so what you want to do is just turn them over okay there's a little part right here and what you do is just stick your knife down right there get it right there and that'll kill him okay most humane way you can do it and he'll die eventually all right, so once you get that, that done, now uh, I got some cut-resistant gloves on in case they want to pinch me. All right. There's an apron back here. You want to get that apron. All right, and peel that back. Let me get my other glove on while he's sitting. Because, you know, I don't work with blue crabs a lot, but I ain't getting pinched today. All right. So go ahead. Get that apron back. And you're going to reach under here. And kind of work it back and forth until you pull these legs up just like that okay now yeah there goes some of the stuff right there the insides and all you want to do you can take a knife or you can take your hand get some of these the gills out put them in there with that shell and let me see make sure she can see take the gills out right there the liver is all in there as well Take your knife, go down the middle, take, cut it in half, okay? Go ahead and take your, your, um, the mouth off and everything. 
Get the rest of that stuff out of there. Why trying to tell me I'm going too fast? I probably am. Go ahead and get the rest of that stuff out of there. You don't have to. You want a lot of people um, eat that, okay? All right. So all that's out of there, just like that. And it's gonna be split in two. Looks like a crab, but the shell ain't with it. There it is. I'll show you one more. If I went a little too fast, how that works. Let me get another one out of here. Get a nice size. All right, so that's a big one right there. You see how big that one is? That's a nice size blue crab right here. But you know what? I'm sorry, buddy. You're going to have to go. So I'm going to turn him over. Get your knife right here in the middle, right under that mouth. Push down with some pressure. Just like that. Take that apron. Flip it back. Now he's trying to get me. Just like that. And I'm going to turn this over and baby follow me when I do this right here. You're going to have to kind of work it a little bit. Just like that. It'll pop. It'll pop a little. you hear it. You don't like that. But you know what? He is not, he's not dying fast enough. And then all you do, now I'm going to go ahead and cut him in half, just like that. Take your hand or whatever, get the little gills out, just like that. You can leave the liver in if you want, what I call what they call a tamale. But, you know, that's about it right there. I'll get out of that. Same thing over here. Get your gills out. And these are easy to come out. Just kind of rub your finger across there. Uh-oh. Broke a leg off. It's okay. And get everything else out of here. He's still moving. Yeah, he's still moving. He's still alive. Okay. Now, guys, if you if you work with a lot of crafts, some of you do, and you got some tips for me, I can, you think I can do better, be, feel free to leave them in the comments. I don't mind doing that. So we got a couple crabs right here. We're going to be using these for the smoker got you know two of them right they're kind of small most of your meat is all in the leg and all right here in the um, body cavity so we're going to go ahead and speed the, i'm gonna get these all cut up and everything and by the time we get put these on we'll be getting ready to put them on the smoker all right guys so now i got the boiling pot going and i got the paddle by boil boss it's got the temperature on it let me know it's time to cook if you look right there at that temperature right here, about 214 degrees. All right, water's boiling. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get put our seasonings in. Okay, so what I'm using today, this is Art's Seafood Boil Extra Hot. This comes from um, Opelousas, Louisiana. And I'm not using a whole bunch of pounds, I'm just using four pounds of this today. Make sure it's not too spicy. And we're gonna be putting this in. And get this from Gulf Runner Seafood. So let's go ahead and get these open. One bag. Go and get our other bag. Uh oh. <laughs> See, what I say, we keep it real over here. Have you been drinking? Nope, I ain't had one drink, and I'm mad at myself because I have it. But look, we're going to get all that goodness in there. <laughs> Woo, that smells good. Get all the rest of that arts seafood boil in there. That's got a good smell on it. Get our other one in there. <coughs> Woo! Guys, you gotta be careful on that the spice. Woo! Excuse me. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, and these these potatoes, they take only about 15, 20 minutes to get going. Get you some red potatoes. I'm not, I'm not putting no sweet potatoes in here today. Just a couple red potatoes, keep it simple. 
All right. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get some lemons. Cut them up. Throw a couple. Get a couple lemons. There you go. You don't have to worry about squeezing them in there. Sometimes I do, but once these boil, all the... <coughs> Ooh, y'all. That spice is getting to me. This is a real boil. Ain't no frills and fancy stuff about it. We're, we're keeping it real over here. I like a lot of this lemon citrus inside, especially seafood. If I don't watch out, this crab is over here is going to get me. Yeah, he gonna he gonna get me. He's 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 ready. <laughs> he just doesn't know what's coming next. No, he knows. That's why he's coming at me. Get my last of my lemons in there. All right. Then what I want to do? Throw a couple packs of bay leaf in it. Okay, I got some of these Fiesta bay leaves right here. Bay, you can use any kind of bay leaf, guys. Throw it all up in there and put another pack. Bay leaf. Just like that. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, about half a, uh, half of a little bottle like this, cayenne pepper, okay? It's a little spicy, about half. Just like that. Ah, a little more. There we go. Put that in there. Then, we're going to use one bottle of crawfish boil. Now, guys, it's a lot of water. So you're looking at it like, man, that's going to be too spicy. It's not. Because it's, it's so much water, and all this has got to soak up into the, the food. Okay? And then... Uh, on top of that, my son didn't, oh, he brought it out, okay. Now, this is for flavor, this ain't, this is hot sauce, you can use any hot sauce you want, but I like the vinegar, a little flavor of this hot sauce. We'll get you a bottle of hot sauce, put it in here. A lot of crawfish boils and crab boils, water's always diluted and it, it don't have any flavor. Put that in there just like that. All right, then as far as the spice, that's about it. As far as the spice, my wife's like, thank God, because I know she's looking at me like, why well, I'm putting so much spice in it. She's usually not here when I do this, uh, but that's how it's, we're going to let that roll for about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you over here. Come over here. I'm going to show you how to put my flavor in here. All right, so I want you to take. About a couple stalks of celery. Like this. Alright. We're gonna cut these up. Like so. Woo! Try to get me. Put all that in there. Worry about that juice from that crab. It's all going in the same thing. And what I want to tell you is I did actually rinse these, cleaned all the sand off of them, just like I do crawfish in my little crawfish uh, pot, my little basket. So they are clean. Okay, so I got to get this right, guys. Go ahead and get that blended up like a slurry. Just like that. Nice little slurry. Now I'm going to pour this inside. Make sure my blade don't go in, my blade don't go in here. 
Get all that goodness in there. Look, I got extra stuff in here. Get all that. And then, just like you did that, and I'm not going to show you this, guys. We got some white onion on here, and I'm going to do the white onion the same way. I'm going to take about four or five white onions, blend them up, put about two cups of water to this blender, blend that up like a slurry, and we'll pour that in here, and we'll get this rolling. All right, guys, now it's time to put these yogurts on the smoker, okay? So I got my smoker lid. Like I said, it's between 250, 275, almost 300, okay? Because we're only going to do these about 20 minutes on the smoker. Don't need much time. I got some shrimp in here, and I got some, we're going to keep it Texas style. I got some beef sausage that I'm going to throw in there because, you know, it's actually, this beef right here, guys, this is actually brisket sausage, all right? Got to keep it going like that. I threw some andouille in the pot, so we'll leave that for the Cajun spices. So let me throw a couple pieces of cherry. I got a couple pieces of cherry right here, and I'm going to go ahead and throw these up in here, give a little smoke, throw a little more up in there. Go ahead and get this closed. All right. We're going to set this pan right on the top because we're going to smoke this, okay? Now, let me go back over here and show you what we're going to do. I got a first thing you want, you need a full bottle of beer, okay? Got some beer right here. Get that all over that because it's going to kind of steam them a little bit in that pan. Get that beer in there. Now, don't worry, guys. I got one for myself, okay? There you go. Go ahead and get your shrimp and your beef sausage in. Kind of spread them out. Cause you know, shrimp don't take long to cook. I, I, sometimes I put them in a boil, but you know, with shrimp, they, te they tend to overcook once you let them sit. So we're gonna do a little different today. I don't wanna overcook my shrimp today. No matter if you put them in last, sometimes they just overcook unless you're just doing a pure shrimp boil. Mix that in there. Go ahead and get some of your sausage in there. Push them all in between the middle. You ain't gotta get them real deep because you want a little color on those. And we're just gonna pour the rest in here. And I'll spread it out with my hand. Let's bring some of those crabs to the, to the top. Just like that. All right, so now let's go back over to the table. We're gonna throw a little bit of this holy voodoo on here. Now halfway through this cook, we'll come in here and mix this up. Don't be shy with this stuff. Cause you know, you got liquid in here and a lot of this is trying to set to the bottom. So get that all on there. All right, so you got your seasoning. And then we got this Chef Paul, seafood magic. Love this stuff. Get a little bit of that on there. Get it all sprinkled on there. All right, that's good. Now let's add a couple more other things. Lemon pepper, you gotta add your lemon pepper, okay? I don't wanna over pour this. Well, it's gonna come out slow. Be careful what you're shaking, just a little bit on here. Get your lemon pepper on there. All right, so now I got some salted butter. I got about two sticks of salted butter. All right, take your salted butter. Just put it all over on the top. Oops, almost dropped that. Some of them are stuck together, still cold. That's all right, it'll melt down. Just like that. And the last thing we're gonna do, now you can use fresh lemon, but I got some lemon juice in a bottle, okay? Go ahead and just get a little bit of that all, all over there. And okay, that's it. Now. We're gonna let this smoke 20 minutes, 25 minutes till I'm happy about it. It's gonna be between 250, 
275, maybe 300. And we'll, in about 10 minute mark, we'll come here and we'll kind of, you know, mix them around a little bit. It's going to close this. Now, if you step over here with me to the crawfish, whoo, things burning my eyes. This thing has been rolling for the last 30, 40 minutes. These potatoes are about done. So when your potatoes are about done, just like in my crawfish video, it's time to put your crawfish in. I've already added some mushrooms, some andouille sausage, as you can see here. We have our lemons, and I added the rest of my onion. So, hey, Dad, can you come over and help me real quick? Get my uh, my pops to come over and help me. And we're going to show them, let them see these blue crab real quick. Now, look at these blue crab. Those are ready to go, and they're alive. Look, this boy right here. He ready to go. He's gonna be the first mate. I gotta be fair about it. It's not fair to him. Throw that blue crab in there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pour these in. Woo. There you go. I'm giving this a appreciate pops. Give this a good stir, push them down, push that crawfish down. Blue crab, they probably done sunk to the bottom. There are a couple of them right there. That's, that's what I want to see. Get a couple of these other boys in here. We're going to let these go about 10 minutes, put the top on, and then we'll come back, turn the heat off, and let them soak. Okay, so let me show you how to do this butter sauce while we're inside waiting on the crab to finish up. So I got about two pounds of butter, a salted butter, okay? So we're going to throw those in there. Get them melted. And this is on about, about medium-high heat, okay? Once I get all this in here, well, of course, we'll be turning the heat down. So get all this butter in here, all right? I want to take some of this crawfish and shrimp crab oil, all right? And I'm going to put about three, not three, where is it at? About, about a tablespoon and a half of this. That's it, okay? All right. Put you about two teaspoons of holy voodoo or Cajun season. About a teaspoon of seafood magic. Then we want to put about, let's see, two tablespoons of lemon juice, or you can use fresh lemon juice if you want, okay? Then we're going to put about a tablespoon and a half of lemon pepper. And then we put a couple shakes of hot sauce and then get that all blended up. Turn it down to like medium low and don't make sure you just don't let it burn. And we'll be using that for some of that crab out there. All right, look at this crab. It's been on about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to get in here and I'm going to mix some of this stuff up. Get some of the ones at the bottom, put them to the top. And then we had that butter mixture we made. Get it over here. Or that butter mixture over there. Now that flame's coming up. 
but I, I want this butter all over it and the rest of this. Turn that up. We're going to close that for another about 10 minutes. And let's step over here. Make sure our heat get down a little bit. Go ahead and turn off our boil. Get the top off. Now you see how all those came to the top like that? Now I got some for that. So we don't want to put your ice on this and you don't want to dilute it. Okay? Because you put the, a lot of people do that. To try to, you got to cool this down rapidly. So we got this boil boss right here. Been using this for a couple years. And all you got to do, you're going to take... Make sure you safety first. Get your uh, propane disconnected. Turn on your water. Now, the key to this is you got to agitate it. And all, all you do that is just kind of stir from the outside. Now, this boil box is what it's going to tell me. Look at those crabs. They look good, don't they? Look at these boys. Nice and red. Perfect with this crawfish. Now, as I agitate this, agitate. Look on this thermometer real quick. See, it's at 180 going up. When it gets to the soak, I can turn this off and let them soak. And they'll and they'll sink as I keep doing this. This is how you do it rapidly, without having to dilute your water with ice. We want all this flavor in there. Some of you folks out there don't like no seasoning. We know who you are. But Hello. Texas boys, we like seasoning. We got some friends here today. Gonna take part in this cooking. Now this thing got me crying, y'all. It's so much it's so much seasoning. Can I get you? Yeah, you can get me. <laughs> Heat's hitting me, guys. Getting you. Yeah, just keep agitating it. That's all you gotta do. This temperature is going down. Potatoes. Yeah, those potatoes are in there. Those mushrooms are in there. The sausage. Sausage in there. Temperature's getting down. It's almost there. Almost there. Usually gotta let this soak about like 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep on agitating this. We're going to get this out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this cooler in a minute. Speed up the time. Then we show you how these look. Breaking them apart. Now look at this. All those crabs that were at the top. You see how they don't soak real fast? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. Woo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. This thing is working, guys. Where you at now? I'm almost in the green. You see that? Awesome. Almost in the green. Now, what we're doing basically, see that some of that lemon. I was hoping that wasn't potato. Um, we're just getting this seasoning to fill up the cavity of the crabs and the crawfish. It's almost about ready. Let's soak. Oh, this boil boss is key. Like I said, reach out to Gulf Runner Seafood if you're in the Dallas area, Metroplex, Fort Worth. You know, put your order in. They got a Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, I'll leave all the links in the description. Just to show this stuff. Now look, it's at 160. Right there. That's what we want, okay? Let's go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to leave this in here while we check on. I could pull these out now. I'm going to leave them in here while I check on this, this, um, these crabs over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. I think those are about ready. We don't want to overcook this, guys. Look at that stuff right there. That's how you smoke crab. Like I said, blue crab two ways. Go ahead and get this off. 
I'm gonna put it over here. Now I need better gloves, y'all. I'm stupid. <laughs> Let me get some better gloves on. Let y'all look at the eye candy on that. Huh? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, is that the neighbor? That's a neighbor. <laughs> hey, I was sh shooting this video, so I got neighbor neighbors over here. Got the neighbor. And uh, they love to the smell this barbecue. <laughs> I told them we're gonna have some stuff today. There we go. And look at that blue crab shrimp. And that's all supplied by Gulf Runner Seafood right there, guys. Got this crawfish ready over here. Hey, Dad, you ready to help me pull this out? All right. I'm going to get this pulled out. Now let's get this boil boss off of here. I want Pops tripping. Let's you use one of these. Here, you can uh, use this towel right here. Yeah. I'll, I'll use this on the bottom right here. It's gonna get this. Let me let me uh get this closer to us. There we go. Got enough room? We're just doing this. Oh, we're just doing this. Okay. Let's pick this up and we're gonna let it drain. Man, you can come over on this side. Kind of let that let that drain right there. A little bit. Woo wee. Smelling real good. All right, you ready? You ready? You ready? Yep. Up. There it is. Woo! Now that looks good, guys. Potatoes all done. Look at these crabs. Woo! Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of these while they're hot. You know, give me them black gloves, Pops. Show them what we're doing over here. Give me, give me another one. All right. I'm going to show you how these break apart e real easy. Let's get this boy right here. Mm, 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 mm. Take it over here with this other crab. Now, like I said, take these apart the same way. Get that apron under there. Lift that up. Okay. Take your legs. Now that's some good juice right there, okay? Take your gills off. Take all that off. All that juice. There's all your meat right there. Look at that. Mm. I'm gonna take that one right there. Now I know this is hot, y'all, so I hope I don't burn myself. <laughs> mm. Mm, that's tender. Man, I was, ooh, y'all gonna need a couple beers on that one. That's spicy. Not real spicy, but it's good. So, show y'all the difference. We got some of this, just as tender. Got all, look at all that flavor in there. And then you got your, your smoked blue crab. Two ways to do it. Like I said, boiled crab, blue crab, done two ways. Try this way, try the other way, traditional. Hope y'all enjoyed this film. We're gonna get to eating. Got some oysters to put on. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, <laughs> it's time to eat.